Hi guys, my name's John Holser, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a way to build your own Kinaflow lights for one-tenth the cost of buying one. So stay tuned. I love Kinaflows, which is why I used them for years on indie film and corporate video sets. It's also why I decided to use them to light my little basement studio. Kinos are a rugged, high-quality light with interchangeable fluorescent bulbs. Kinos produce 5600 Kelvin daylight and 3200 Kelvin incandescent style light based on which bulbs are used. They use relatively small amount of electricity and stay relatively cool compared to tungsten bulbs. They were a good choice for my small basement studio. The only problem was that I had to take them down and pack and unpack them every time I had a video gig. That was a pain. Now I considered buying additional Kinos, but I didn't need them bad enough to warrant spending $1,000 for the size I wanted. So what's a guy or a gal to do? Well, I decided to build my own. I call it a poor man's Kino because after I got the wire, lamp cord, bulb holders, wire nuts, electrical tape, pine board, wood screws, bulbs, and foam core, it cost me just 67 bucks. Woohoo! Now compare that to $700 to $1,500 for a rich man's Kino. Now don't get me wrong, the light I'm about to build is nowhere near as rugged or controllable as a real Kino, but that's okay. I didn't need it to be. It's going to live in my cozy little basement studio. Okay, let's get building. All right, so we've got a six foot board. I've got a nine foot screen. I know I'm only using seven feet of it. So for that purpose, I'm going to put bulbs on the very end and then I'm going to uh, make them even from there to the middle. Because what we want to do is we want to make sure that the background has an even light on it. I mark the board out. What I've got to do is create holes in the back of the board to accommodate this base. I'm going to put a little dent inside of the base, and that's where the wire is going to sit, if I do it right anyway. So what I've decided to do is to use single wire. Okay, so at this point, we've got in, and we've got out, black. Now I have to do the same thing with red. This comes from this light, or goes to that light, and this comes from the other light, and the electricity flows from one light to the other. So we've got two in and two out. So that's ready to be flipped over. All right, here we go. Check this baby out. See how it works. Voila, a poor man's Kina flow. All right, we're gonna get this thing up and lighting the background. Okay, I'm standing in front of a background which is lit by two DIY lights, one on either side. Originally, I was gonna make two lights and go horizontally, one on top and one on the bottom. But instead, I decided to split one of them in two and go vertical, one on each side. Now, as you can see, we've got a nice even light wash. And the foam board here keeps the light going to the background and away from me. Now, if I wanted side light, I could have left the foam core off the side, but in this case, I didn't. Now, keep in mind, I'm not an electrician. Build this light at your own risk. Read a book on wiring. If you don't understand the basics, don't build it. Don't be careless. Do your homework. So there you go. A $67 poor man's Kina flow. And by the way, this light is 18% more powerful at one-tenth the cost. Woo-hoo! <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about how you can begin a career, create more opportunities, or just how to make your next film your best film, click here right now. And don't forget to like and subscribe.